What's going on guys? It's Troy Dan here and today we got eight NBA clips that made us question reality eight for Colby question reality I'm not really sure what this means. So let's find out right now link in the description below make sure it's up 30 times three two one Go we're gonna take a look oh. at some footage where at first glance It was actually pretty hard to tell if it was real or not and initially fooled us all Wait what? Paul George doing a dunk? First Kobe! up is a video that took oh. the whole world by storm. The year was 2008. Kobe was on top of the NBA. And this little stunt he's about to perform Dude. put him even more in the spotlight. Hold on, you hold on. I'll pause it once. If you if you haven't seen this yet, you're going to be in for something special. This is how good Kobe was. You can see, Kobe looks like he's preparing Ryan to Turiff? do something. But people were not quite sure exactly what he had in store. I love but this I'll commercial. I'll tell you what, our eyes were not going to look away. This is the greatest commercial ever, dude. Come on, bring it down. <laughs> I love the music. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> ah, I told you. March 31st, 2008, baby. That is how you jump over an Aston Martin, boy. boy. That's how you do it. How That's you how you do it. Do not try this at home. Okay, listen, it, probably, it, it was fake, but he could have done it, but it, it was fake. Video shows Kobe jumping over an Aston Martin, which was going at a very Oof. high speed. Now, the footage may look bad now, but back in 2008, many were amazed by what they saw and actually were it convinced is, it, that it was real. Of course, it the looks video real. went viral, but eventually, we all did come to our senses and realized that there was no way Kobe would put his life at risk like that. And just by looking at the enthusiasm he had, by deliberately shoving the hyperdunk shoe in clear view of the camera, it was obvious that this was nothing more than just a Nike commercial. Yeah, no shit! What? Come Up on! next is a sequel to the last clip. Oh, this jackass! As we remain in the year of 2008. It looks like Kobe might have had a little too much fun making our jaws drop by jumping over that car. So now he's that back at car. it again. And this time- that, It's an Ashton Martin music, bitch. Attempts to perform something even crazier. The footage shows Bryant hanging out with the crew of Jackass from the hit MTV series. And right in front of them is a pool full of snakes. At first, the crew was doing what they usually do. Purposely putting their body <laughs> on the push line leave it just for our own personal entertainment. Hell Kobe has this nah. look on his face that says he can't believe what he's seeing. But then, one of them puts Kobe on the spot and dares him to jump in. And obviously, when you challenge the Black Mamba, he's definitely not going to back down. Come on, jump, Kobe! He's loud. Come on, Kobe, you tried! <laughs> you were one of those damn snakes. <laughs> Kobe! <laughs> That was real! It was real! It was real! Now, when this How is it not real? End, people Woo. weren't so quick to believe it this time. We all knew it didn't add up. His body looks very awkward in the air. But hey, you gotta give him credit. It's not like you can clearly see any strings attached to him or anything like that. So it definitely made you think for Dude, a little bit. Dude, imagine you get that much and air. One thing is for sure, those two stunts put the hyperdunk shoe on the map. Hyperdunk thing has hit the internet where you jump over the pool of snakes. Yeah. Is that real? Absolutely. You, you yeah. jumped over that pool and dunked. I did jump over the pool. So it's not like the Aston Martin. I, I jumped over a car. It was real. You actually jumped over the pool. I did jump over. I had a little assistance, maybe. With <laughs> Hollywood? I'm the hyperdunks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. The year was 2004. Millions of basketball fans were gathered around friends and family watching the NCAA March Madness tournament when suddenly a random LeBron commercial came on. Oh, and what this he was one doing took everyone by surprise. Loud, actually. Let me just start like that. Yeah, right. Whoa. Yeah, right. Are you guys rolling on this? That's a 90 footer. Oh. That is amazing. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. All right. As you can see, LeBron had no problem knocking down five full court shots from 85 feet. Can you imagine just shooting at like first, that from there? I remember my friend at the time actually believing this. Dude, look, hold on. Like, come on. Did, did you believe this? Yes or no? 
Come on! Look at the arc! But LeBron was more than capable of doing this, but I was extremely skeptical. That like, arc would be insane! how am I supposed to believe that a local TV news crew just so happened to capture this on video? And there's no way he possibly had the strength to shoot the ball so yeah, effortlessly no shit. like that. But my friends at school thought it was like the most amazing thing ever. Did they- Wow! But I wasn't buying it. Because when I saw the Powerade logo pop up at the end, I instantly knew it was fake. Well, because duh. Powerade had a history of exaggerating these sports clips oh, by making it look like they captured something incredible on camera, like what they did here with Michael Vick. But still, that didn't stop some people from thinking that he did something highly impressive. It was cool. It looked cool, man. That's all it, it was late 2018. When a video surfaced online of Kyrie Irving working out and performing some drills, and what he did next broke the internet. Out of nowhere, Kyrie channeled his inner Michael Jackson by leaning over at multiple different angles, defying the laws of physics. Whoa. And like always, many questioned the authenticity of the footage. And when a reporter finally got their opportunity to straight up ask him if it was real, all this Kyrie before. had to say was, it's magic. During a regular season huh. game in 2018, the Thunder were taking on huh. the Phoenix Suns. Russell Westbrook takes it hard to the basket and gets fouled while putting up a wild shot. As he walks away, he grabs the ball for a split second, then quickly drops it soon after. But taking a Whoa. closer look at Whoa. the replay, Whoa. the ball seems Whoa. to Whoa. suddenly disappear, Whoa. which had every Whoa. one of us Whoa. sitting there Whoa. completely confused Whoa. and made us go back and Whoa. watch what happened over- What the flying flamingo f what the hell was- Go back! Go a closer back! Look at the replay, what the hell the was that?! The ball seems to suddenly disappear, which had every one of us sitting there completely confused. It made Where'd us go, it go back and watch what happened over and over again. But every time, it only got us more frustrated, because nobody can figure it out. Okay, sure, the most logical explanation is that Alfred huh? Payton must have grabbed a hold of the ball immediately after Westbrook drops it, but still, we will never officially know until a replay of a different angle comes out. Bro, we, we need to get the bottom of that one. Giannis pushes the ball up the court and finds Paul George for an easy bucket, but he doesn't settle for an easy bucket. George takes it up a notch and decides to throw down a 360 dunk instead, which uh -huh. got the crowd cheering. But while some were raving about the dunk, others noticed something strange. Why? If we take a look again, it appears that PG's number apparently changes from 13 to 14. And fans were forced to consider that- Paul George had to have been some sort of magical wizard or something. These guys are of hackers! Course, when something like this happens, 14. there will always be people on a mission to uncover the real Jimmy. reason it happened. Jimmy. Some say it was the way the lights in the building hit the jersey, and even some suggested I've never the seen theory that. that it might have actually been one of the new smart jerseys that Adam Silver <laughs> unveiled that same weekend. Jerseys that had the ability to change just by a click Whoa. of a button. But it turns out that those smart jerseys were still in development at the time. What? It wasn't even available for George to wear. But it seems that the best bet might be that his jersey folded after the dunk in such a way to Dude, make it just appear ask that the numbers changed. Either way, it was a head-scratching moment. Huh. That's wow. In the late 80s, a documentary wow. came out about Jordan's career up until that point, and his mom made an appearance. And right out of the gate, oh, it was clear this where he I... got his athletic ability from. Okay, okay, this is a reach. This is clearly... This. Like that? No, like this. <laughs> like this. Like this. Like this, Michael. This one's great. And now give it some razzadazzle. <laughs> That's my mom. Now, haters will say it's fake, but to me, it, is real. it looks like she had some Caruso type hops. And the most impressive thing, in my opinion, is how the hell did she manage to grow a mustache in a matter of seconds? Man, maybe she's the real goat. Maybe. Spud Webb, arguably one of the greatest little man dunkers of all time and Damn, was the 1986 tiny, slam dunk champion. And in this video right here, when he was around the age of 47, he proves that he still got it. 
The clip shows a group of friends messing around on the court when one of them started to fill himself and felt the need to show off in front of Spud Webb. And eventually, they all became a bunch of arrogant jerks, challenging Webb to dunk the ball right there on the spot. Who are these goddamn course, no names? Spud wasn't about to take any of that. What are they? They're all wearing white blue shirts. This. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you saw that, Spud. You like that? What is this? So weird. What you got, Spud? What you got? What you got, huh? What you got? This ain't the 80s, Spud. What you got? Something else. Bruh. Bruh. I don't know. It looked like you stepped on something. Keep practicing, son. Keep practicing. Okay, after rewinding it a couple of times, it was probably nothing more than just a quick sleight of hand involved here. Probably placing some sort of box for him to step on. But at the end of the day, it's up to you guys to decide. It's hard to tell, but there's no way he did it like that. Right. I don't think he could dunk like if that. If you happen to watch the entire video, just know that it's much appreciated. And feel free to let me know some other videos. Bro, I saw this. sit Woof. there and think for a what second. What a catch, man. Sure Alright. Eight clips and made this question. Uh, yeah, some of these I've seen. It's nice to see Kobe again. I forgot all about the one with him and the snakes and the jackass crew. That was great. The Aston Martin, great stuff. The, the Kyrie one, we saw that one before. And the, the, the jersey changing, that's kind of spooky strange i don't know we'll get to the bottom of it i know a secret agent that specializes in this his name is chief beef guys if you got a video like for me to want to react to please tweet me at troyden under the hashtag troyden reacts thank you for watching and kids stay away from timmy